Please pause for the moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. A new study confirms more risk to your body from vaping e-cigarettes. And the Belfort Worth show brought record crowds to Alliance Airport this weekend. Our bass fishing team is in studio to update us on their past week their past weekend tournament. Those stories and find out how you can win two tickets to Posty Fest November 2nd. Coming up next on NHS TV Live. A new study suggests that vaping e-liquids may lead to some inflammation in the lungs. The study published in the journal Cancer Prevention Research found that in people who had never smoked after using e-cigarettes for just twice daily for a month was linked with changes in inflammatory cell counts in the lungs. The study has also published about the outbreak of lung damage with e-cigarettes. Researchers are still learning so much about the vaping devices. The real question is, is it even worth it? If you live in Alliance, or even literally a 10-mile radius, you may have heard the loud roaring sounds of jet engines coming from the air show that took place this weekend. Along with hearing loss, there were many eye-grasping events that happened at this event. They featured teams like the Blue Angels, as well as the F-22 Raptor demo team. They were there to show off the abilities of the planes in different situations. Other planes featured at the show were the F-16 Viper demo team, one of the more creative planes of the night with Jeff Borboon's YAK-110 double plane, and the annual Heritage Flight seen planes from World War II, the Vietnam War, and Korean War. Though the event was ear-piercing, it was definitely a day to remember. If you missed it, don't worry. Fort Worth Alliance Air Show will return the 17th and 18th of October of next year. Moving on, this past weekend, our fellow Texans reeled it in for a close win. Kaylee Lavin is here in studio for our, with our Bass Vision team to talk about their big weigh-in. That's right, Abby. I'm here with Taylor Morgan and Aiden Shepard from the Bass Vision team. So you guys had a meet over the weekend, right? Yes, ma'am. It was on Saturday from uh, 7 in the morning to 3. Oh, my gosh. So how did that go? Uh, it was pretty good. We had all of our five teams weigh in bass. Um, I got second place. Me and my partner did with 17 and a half pounds. He got eighth, and then we had another team get 27th place. Okay, so when is y'all's next tournament? Uh, November 9th on Ray Roberts. Which, what lake? Ray Roberts. Oh, awesome, okay. So, I just wanted to like, how did the bass fishing team come to be at Northwest? So, I started it up my sophomore year. Um, I just contacted the tournament director with THSBA and filled out a bunch of paperwork and then got a couple teams on the board. All right, and so you were telling me earlier that you're the president and you're the vice president. Mm -hmm. So, what does bass fishing like have in store for them next year? So he's probably going to take over the president role. Um, we're, we're growing pretty good, so there's probably going to be at least five or six teams next year as well, too. All right, so how many did y'all start with? Uh, two. Two teams, so yeah. now there's five. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was right. just us two for uh, my freshman year, and then this year, uh, last year we built up a little bit, but this year we really kicked off. And yeah. so you're a junior? Mm -hmm. So you've got a whole nother year? Yep. You're excited? Mm-hmm. All right, awesome. Thank you all so much for coming Thanks, in. Thank you. Texans, their next tournament is on November 9th, so make sure to wish them good luck. Back to you, Abby. Thanks, Kaylee, and congrats to our bass fishing team. Moving on, it's now time for this week's edition of Tech Talk. Texans, the days of yelling at Siri and Alexa may be behind us. Google's bi-directional encoder representations from Transformers, BERT for short, is a new AI in development. While there might be some concern about this being another clone of Siri, don't be alarmed. 
though the layout of the system is pretty similar to Google's previous AI system, Google Home, Bird is said to be a lot more personal and is the only AI system capable of picking up speaking patterns and utilizing it to be able to finish your sentences. The AI has studied millions of conversations and unique dialects in order to make this possible. The system is projected to be released for Pixel phones later this year. Also under development, MIT is working on a new program that will transform 2D images into 3D models. While most see motion blurs as a frustration when taking pictures, MIT claims this could be the key to recovering the third dimension in photographs. By utilizing the newly developed corner camera, MIT takes blurry photographs and tracks the motion of objects in order to create a three-dimensional projection. This new technology is said to be useful in fire rescue missions and surgical operations. MIT researchers say this technology is almost like magic. That's all I got for you Texans on this week's edition of Tech Talk. If you're getting tired of the same old coffee from Starbucks, because I know you are, NHS TV reporter Jay Cruz has the next best spot around. With the abundance of cafes popping up in and around the Justin area, it can be hard finding the perfect cup of joe. But Kimsey's Coffee in Argyle is definitely a step above the rest. When you come in here, you know that you're going to get something different. Modeled after a European cottage, Kimsey's has been giving customers a unique experience for over two and a half years. The building itself seems to be right out of a storybook. From the greenery to the decoration, you're sure to feel as if you're stepping into a fairy tale. Um, I think it's beautiful. As soon as I walked up, I was like, wow, this place looks really enchanting. The menu is just as magical with a variety of fresh coffee options, as well as milkshakes, teas, and specials that change every season. If you're feeling a bit peckish, you can choose from one of their many scratch-made pastries. Kimsey's is also the perfect place to hang out with friends or study after school. It looks like a very peaceful place to get some work done. It's a really nice, quaint place to go and meet up with friends and just kind of forget about our schedules and life and just enjoy each other's company. If you don't have time to relax in their cafe, you can still get your pick-me-up on the go via their drive through It seems no matter what you're looking for, Kimsey's has something to satisfy every kid at heart. Oh gosh, it's enough to like the, uh, the atmosphere, the, the coffee's great, the pastries are delicious, the staff is friendly, I love it here. Just to see what's on the menu, I always ask the barista what their input is. They kind of go off of what I like, which is really unique and special. This cafe will sure to give you a one-of-a-kind experience that will keep you coming back time and time again. You're also going to get a great guest experience just because that's the thing that we and the owner values the most. This is Cruz for NHS TV. Thanks, Jay. Now it's time for this week's TikTok Tuesday. But this sound is definitely stranger than most. Don't forget to enter our PostyFest ticket giveaway. To win the two tickets, you have to follow our Instagram at NHS underscore TV and like the photo on a flyer that we posted a couple weeks ago. On Friday, we will have a live raffle to see who won the tickets. Be sure to stay tuned for that. One last minute announcement. Please eat at Chili's in Roanoke this week to support our STEM and our CMP Academy. Tell your server that you are there for our programs. Watch us tomorrow as we feature a star wrestler on our show. Thanks for watching, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.